Hello, this is the CRT man here, and today I have a video about the uh, macOS 9.2.2's uh, uh, monitor settings. Let me turn the iMac on. It's on sleep mode. All right. Now that it's uh, just waiting for it to load for a second. Okay, it's loaded. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys could see this, because this is some pretty interesting stuff I found one day when just messing around with my IMAX monitor settings. It's amazing. So, let's see. Of course, go to the Apple, uh, go to Control Panels, go to Monitors, or you could go to this uh, bottom tab thing down there with a, uh, down there and go to Open Monitor Control Panel. So, it's almost like, it's almost like the dock in Mac OS X. So first, play with the brightness. Actually, looks better like that on camera for some reason. Usually like the contrast in the middle. Wow, it's actually not coming up too bright like before. This webcam is fantastic. Um, too bad I doubted it before. So you can mess with the resolution. Make the resolution all ginormous and huge at 117 megahertz uh, 117 hertz 640 times 480 here's standard 800 uh, times 600 uh, yeah 800 times 600 at 95 hertz and then the other standard uh, 1024 times uh, 768 at 75 hertz which can be a tiny bit shaky in real life so let's go back to the normal resolution and let's see here it's starting to look a little bit too bright you like said play with the settings even though it's not even doing much really on the camera uh, okay so enough sappy stuff and let's get to the real deal so first of all you can play with the geometry go from here to geometry and this is just awesome so you could you could do this. If you keep clicking that part, you can go that far down. You gotta spam the mouse. And go that high and stretched, and then... This button uh, is the factory settings button. You probably can't even see it. Let me screw this thing up. The uh, factory settings button. Which makes everything go back to normal. So, and, uh... Trying to even the laptop out so you can see everything. Then the sides. Make that all skinny and compact. And then spin that back out. Make it look all wide and weird. Factory settings. And then this uh, position. Now, if you go into this, into the middle green uh, that middle monitor right there and drag around that stuff you can literally move the whole screen so watch I mean this has got to be the coolest freaking thing I have ever seen you can move around the screen look at that it's amazing when I first did this I was like oh my gosh this is a just absolutely insane factory settings to restore the factory settings uh, you could also move it up move it down move it left move it right and so forth so on and so forth then there's this thing called punk uh, pin cushion which either makes it all kinda curvy or skinny and somewhat then the opposite factory settings rotate so you could actually move the screen around a little bit it's kinda kinda weird factory settings keystone now I forgot what this does it makes it more like into a trapezoid not all that interesting parallelogram yeah yeah you know parallelogram makes it slant over to the side there and then let's go to color uh, 
actually that doesn't do much. Never mind that. Preferences, theater mode, on, off. I'm not going to mess with that. And then the last thing is uh, the colors. You go to 256, it looks all pixely and 8 bit. You, I really I really don't think you can see that on camera. Uh, and then you can turn it to black and white on 256, aka grays. Interesting. Go back to colors. And here's thousands, which is kind of intermediate. And back to millions. So, kind of a somewhat interesting video. So, I hope you like it. And uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.